Welcome to the University of Mauritius. Set in the beautiful landscape of Retuit with high-rise buildings, the University aims to create and disseminate knowledge and understanding to the citizens of Mauritius and the intellectual community. We aspire to be a leading international university bridging knowledge across continents through excellence and intellectual creativity. The history of the university dates back to the 1830s when Adrien d'Epinay proposed the creation of a University of Mauritius. In 1914, a school was set up within the then Department of Agriculture and it flourished to a college in 1925, training human resources for the development of agriculture for both public and private sectors. The college is now known as the Faculty of Agriculture and 2014 celebrates its 100th anniversary. Her Royal Highness Princess Alexandra was installed the first Chancellor on the 21st October 1974. The auditorium was inaugurated in July 1975 by Mr. Pierre Abelin, Ministre de la Coopération du Gouvernement de la République Française, and named in May 1981 after the former Vice-Chancellor, Dr. Paul Octavier. Over the decades, the university progressed from mostly an in-service training institution to a fully-fledged university, concentrating increasingly on bachelor's and postgraduate degree programs. Research and consultancy were conducted in response to the emergent needs of the various sectors of the Mauritian economy. The schools of engineering and science were set up in 1989. In 1993, the School of Law and Management and Social Studies was restructured into two faculties, namely the Faculty of Law and Management and the Faculty of Social Studies and Humanities. At the same time, the three other schools, namely Agriculture, Engineering and Science, became faculties. The new academic complex, inaugurated in November 1994, provides classrooms and lecture halls that can accommodate up to 2,500 students at a time. December 1995 saw the inauguration of the University Student Centre and the cafeteria. The increase of IT resources on campus compelled the university to restructure the computer centre into two components, an academic department and a service centre, the Centre for Information Technology and Systems. In 1993, the university ventured into distance mode to increase access to students through the Centre for Professional Development and Lifelong Learning. The Virtual Centre for Innovative Learning Technologies was established in 2001 to develop e-learning at the University. As of June 2014, the University entered a new developmental phase and these two centres merged to form the Centre for Innovative and Lifelong Learning with a common objective of increasing access to the University programmes through more flexible and technology-enhanced media in the state-of-the-art the core building at the cyber city of Iben. Other main infrastructural facilities include the University Library, the University Gymnasium, the Mauritius Radio Telescope and the newly built Engineering Tower of 10 Level. Starting with a modest figure of 481 students in 1968, the University now has an overall student population of more than 12,000. To date, the University has produced 41,232 awardees to service Mauritius and the world, out of which 192 PhD holders form part of our proud alumni. We turn to the future full of resolutions for increasing our modest but significant contribution to the advancement of our country and region with the newly established Faculty of Ocean Studies. Over the 49 years of its existence, the UOM stands as a strong and highly respected institution and resolutely paves its way to lead in higher education in the region. <laughs>